Good afternoon, this is Sherman Krantzer, Senior Partner, Channel Development Manager, and, and welcome back uh, to the Microsoft Partner of Tomorrow series. So the next installment, we're going to be talking about go-to-market. Uh, and what does that really mean? And I, I think that really ties into what we talked about in the last installment of you know, the sales strategies. It's really figuring out you know, how they, the, these profitable partners are going to market that's different than you know, your, the peers. And I would say the very first thing to understand and recognize is really the competitive advantage. And, and what I mean by that is you know, these partners of tomorrow have really sat back and have strategized and thought, okay, what do we have to do, right, to you know increase our sales velocity, uh, to to uh, research, you know, the different vertical markets that we're in, uh, to ensure that we create something that's going to give us a competitive advantage over our peers. One of the things that's very interesting, and, and there's been some research done here, um, if you take three different managed service providers and you uh, bring them in and do a proposal for, let's say, you know, a new managed services contract, you know, 50 employees, uh, you're basically taking over the servers, rip and replace, all that kind of stuff. You know, many people don't understand what the profit margin or what the difference in, in actual uh, price difference uh, there is within the three proposals, even though the three people didn't know what the other person's going to put. And I tell you, you know what it is? It's about six to seven percent, which is amazing because that really doesn't give you any type of differentiation or competitive advantage because what are you to the client? You're nothing but a a line item, a price item. They can like, remove all the high margin areas and you're no different. You have no competitive advantage over your peers. Now, if you take the, the partner of tomorrow, he walks in and says, oh gosh, you know, um, we actually specialize in, in uh, manufacturing and how to secure manufacturing environments. We have several manufacturers that are already on our, you know, uh, our client list and they're extremely happy with what we're doing. Wow, boom, you now have competitive advantage. And that coincides with the vertical market decision. Next, go to market is really, you got to create this, this marketing plan. Super important. Many partners don't understand that. But the very first thing you need to do is identify industry problems. Okay, and what does that mean? Well, I would say this. It's very simple. Um, you, you can, you know, get the information from Dun & Bradstreet, from Gartner Research. You can get a lot of this stuff from, from a lot of different sources. But what I like to do is actually go to association website, business association websites, you know, national organizations for like manufacturing or, or you know, uh, retail. And in a lot of times you'll find a lot of great information there uh, about problems that they're trying to address. Why? Because, you know, the association is really the advocate for all those CEOs and members of the community. So that's what they're they're looking at. So they're thinking, okay, you know, the the partners of tomorrow are thinking, you know, customers are going to want to make that you know, decision based on uh, the fact that this particular partner has uh, is safe really because they already have uh, you know clients inside of that particular uh, industry. Going to market and creating those packages, you also need to have um, the, the offer put together pretty well, right? And, and we've talked about packaging from the very beginning of this series, and we talked about the mechanics of packaging. So next we want to talk about, you know, the actual package. And, and, and a good go-to-market solution basically creates an offer that's going to solve some of those problems that we just found out in those uh, industry-specific, uh, you know, associations that we were looking at. So now we're going to create this uh, offer to solve the, the package. You need to before you go all in, before you decide, okay, I'm not going to sell anything but these five things, do a proof of concept. And what I mean by that is uh, invite your top five clients that are within a specific industry to a you know, nice dinner, a nice lunch, you know, treat them well, they're your clients, and ask them, say, hey, look, you know, the reason for I'm having you over here is we're putting together a package that we think is going to be really you know, good for your industry. And I have some secrets about how to exactly do that, so stay tuned. And ask them. And, and they're the ones that are going to help you out because not only do they like you, they, they understand you, you're going to buy them dinner, but you're going to understand a lot of the things that are coming from them. They're going to tell you from the, the bottom of their heart what's really affecting their industry. You need to rebrand your website. And, and I, I would tell you that I think that is the, probably one of the number one things uh, that is part of your go-to-market strategy is rebranding your website so that when somebody does get to your website, now they've already done the research. When they do get to your website, they are thinking to themselves, okay, 
I like them. They know what they're talking about. They are already within an industry and I'm gonna go ahead and go with them. So we're gonna rebrand the website. And then lastly, allocate resources to marketing. You know what the, the, the percentage of, of uh, annual gross revenue for most, mar uh, most uh, managed service providers? It is basically one to 2%. The most profitable partners in the country right now are spending between 10 and 16%. Well, I want to do some research and see what McDonald's spends on, you know, their um, their marketing, and I think you would absolutely be completely surprised. Anyways, thanks so much for joining us on this installation, and we look forward to seeing you next. Have a good day. Bye bye.